how this OSP of uh, traffic engineering work. Okay, so you see, I we talk about like O single area route, OIA, OE1 and OE2. OSP have always prefer the path like as a blog. So uh, idea is, I will also give you the example, regardless of the cost value, okay? The idea is, let's say, if we have an OSPF domain and we are running single area, area zero, and that domain also connect to the BGP, and we have an X route, X route sending to the BGP domain, and somehow if that BGP sending this route back to us, because as this route is coming from OE to uh, external route, it will be OE2. Internally, we have an X route, okay, with O. That's why we always prefer the O route, okay, over the OE2. So this is the advanced topic in routing. When we have a, like doing the redistrib multi uh, redistribution on multiple router, there are chances your domain route may come back from the different domain. And that's why OSP basically don't want to prefer that route and that's why they this is they design like this okay that's why if you in eigrp uh, the external ad value is 170 so in e eigrp they are uh, achieving this okay by increasing the ad value of external route so internally eigrp ad value 90 ospf the ad value won't change because in ospf the path selection machine, okay, it will see the route type. So we always prefer the route by O, regardless of the cost value, okay. We don't care, let's say this, in this scenario, you see like I have very, we have two link, same route coming with o, type OIA, the cost value five. So let's say this link is cost value five, five. X route, this link has a cost value 10. The X route also coming from this interface and the route type is O. I will prefer this path. Because this is the OSP path selection work, okay? I will always prefer the O route over any other type. I will prefer the OE1 route over OE2. Now, once you understand this, okay, let me give you the example, okay? Let me give you the example or the requirement and I will now apply this knowledge, okay? So let's say I have a this router has a two route default route and let's say we have some static route okay which is 5.5.5 .5 public IP. Similarly, this router also has a default route one public IP 5.5.5.5. .5 okay, so the requirement is as this router sending the default route as well as the 5.5 route into my OSPF domain. This PC, when it will reach the default route, the traffic will go to ISP2. However, when this PC reach to 5.5.5, .5, it will go to the ISP1. So now this is my requirement. Let's see, uh, by default, uh, I'm doing this, okay? Right now, guys, if you see, let's see on the router one, I have a 5.5. route, IP route 5.5.5255255. And my traffic is going to ISP1 for this public IP. Similarly, router 2 is also doing IP route 5.5.5255255. And my ISP sending the traffic. I'm, I'm sending the traffic. This is public IP. I'm sending the traffic to us to the ISP. And the testing purpose, I will create this loopback IP address on both the ISP side. So interface loopback 10, IP address 5.5.5255255. Okay, ISP2, interface loopback 10, IP address 5.5.5255255. Two five five two five five two five. Okay, now uh, on router one, I'm I'm going to redistribute this route into the OSPF domain. So our router OSPF one redistribute static. So when we're doing the redistribute uh, under the OSPF, make sure 
दिस इज रिक्वायर तो सबनेट की वेड बेसिकली एडवर्टाइज द क्लास लेस आई होप यू नो सबनेटिंग सो क्लास फुल इफ यू यूजिंग द डिफॉल्ट सबनेट मास्क नो बडी यूजिंग द क्लास फुल नेटवर्क and the class less if you do use subnetting okay, you will always use subnet keyword then you can also define here metric type okay and if, this is require the rest or are optional okay but this is the minimum thing you require similarly on the router 2 router ospf1 distribute static subnet so by default by default what is my requirement okay so if you see like like ping 5.5.5 i can reach 5.5.5 i can reach also 8.8.8 so for 5.5.5 we have a specific route and uh this is my internet we don't have a specific route we are matching the default route now who is a deciding factor okay if we see the request home by home so host one sending a traffic to switch one switch one i think we configure this link as a primary and here we don't know like which is link is my primary okay so let's see okay let's see on switch two what is the show ip route okay we basically are doing load sharing okay by default we are doing load sharing but that's not my requirement okay what i want i want for from end machine for 8.8.8 which is basically traffic matching the default route traffic should go to isp2 however for 5.5.5 traffic will go to isp1 okay this is my requirement again and if one path goes down obviously dynamic routing protocol automatically take care it will forward the traffic to to your backup path okay how how we can do this okay simply now let's we learn this the past selection and let's see how we apply this okay to fulfill fulfill that requirement okay so i'm going to the router one so router one you see like how we sending the default route we have a command like ospf1 default information originate information originate if you use a question mark here even here you can change the metric type so by default as i told you both route sending the metric type to this device oe2 now what is our requirement my requirement i want to prefer the 0.0.0.0 because this requirement guys we cannot achieve via the changing the cost why because both the link both route coming on the same interface we cannot achieve this by changing the osp cost value so if we change the cost it will apply it for both so if i change the route type here oe1 so this route switch will basically go to the route, default route this side route type is oe1 the other side by default oe2 which route will i will prefer regardless of the cost value i don't care but what is my cost value as the ospf path selection machine it will see oh this is the oe1 route i should prefer the route to go to this direction let's do this okay so on router 2 as i want to change the route default route to west the router 2 when router 2 sending this default route into my ospf domain i want to see they will send through metric type via one if you see the result now on switch to show ip route you see i preferring the oe1 route which is pointer towards to router 2 and that's what i want so that's my requirement right so i want to for 8.8.8 the traffic will now go this way so you can check that from this machine if i do trace route 8.8.8 
So no IP domain lookup. So trace route to a dot a dot eight. Now traffic is going via ISP two dot two dot one. And on the other hand, for five dot five dot five. Same thing I will do. You see, like how we sending that uh, five dot five dot route. Okay, so if you see the route route OSPF through the redistribute static, and similar command we have configured on router two, but when router one sending the five dot five dot five route. Okay, same thing I'm doing, guys. So when this device sending the five dot five dot five dot five route. I will set the OE1. And here, by default, 5.5.5 metric type is OE2. So this switch then for 5.5.5, I will route the install towards to the router one, and then router will send the traffic to the ISP one. So I will like, simply when I say redistribute static 7.8, I will say metric type 1. If you see the result now for sending the traffic to 5.5.5, I'm sending the traffic to us to the ISP. And that was my requirement. Any question so far? 